Hello everyone, Jerry, old guy review. So I talked about this in some of my other videos on the 803A about the shocks. So that's my RC, gave me a little tidbit when I got the 806 trailer for the 802. Now, the 802, I've already done this to. But I figured since I've been talking about it, I figured I would just, because that is the last thing I wanted to do to this truck, I figured I would show everyone what I was talking about and what the hubbub's about. So, let's get to it. Now, more than likely, I'm probably only going to do the one side, but let me just come over here and show you guys. So, the 803, 801, 802, you can see how close the body gets to that tire. And in certain situations, it will rub. Now, if you pick it up, you see how far it goes before that front tire comes off the ground. And then, whew, lots of movement. But as a comparison, let's look at the 802 that I've already done this to. Hardly any movement. It still has a bit of articulation, but being this is a heavy-duty truck, you would generally not want that much flop. So, we're going to start by popping off the tire. And I'm going to tell you, some people think they're silly. I got these, my wife got these when we were still dating from an auto parts store 16, 17 years ago. <laughs> I use them for everything. I've got some RC4 wheel drive ones, but this makes just quick little work you might want to do easy. Now, on the 802s and 803s and 801s, you've got a... Okay, now this one is old because it never wants to lock. You've got this nice cross member under here that makes doing one of these jobs just awesome. Okay, and that one does not want to cooperate because it's old and worn out. Wow, rude. Okay. Pretty neat. Now, any of you who have these, you got to start out with popping off your wheel. So, you got to get your hub removal tool. Now, I'll tell you, so far, just routine maintenance on this truck has been pretty nice. So, this is where it's just tough back and forth. So, you've only got a screw up here and a screw down here, which I may have to get one of my other ones out, but you can go through this nice little gap that they put in the steering arm. They may not have intended it for that, but it works excellent for taking off your shock. And I haven't done one of these yet. Oh crap, I did do it. I don't remember what I did on the 802, but we'll start with the top one and we'll see if it makes it easy.
Yep. Top came right off. So, these tops supposedly screw in. But, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take the bottom one off too. Just to make sure I don't screw anything up. Because I should put these underneath this axle because that is way too much non-sag. There we go. Now we're sagging. Oh, it's not going to let me. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. So, we'll pull back. This is the spring that's in it. It's long, but thin. This is the 806 spring, which is just as long, but way thicker. Boing, boing, boing. So we stick those down. This is a quick, easy modification. Yeah, this one, I don't think ever screwed in from the factory. So this is going to be fun. So that one may be slightly defective. But... We'll just get her in here enough. Get the bottom bolt started. Get in there, you, you bottom bolt. Oh, wow. Right in. Never in my life have I gotten a eyelet started that easy. Wow. I'm going to call this the uh, screwdriver cam. And let's see, because this spring is now substantially thicker. I guess I should have just swapped the whole thing out. Thankfully, I shouldn't be doing any jumping with this truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna have to be. And now, I believe, is where I will move my jack stands back. Oh, now that I need it to, it's not going to put that required pressure on there. Okay, this is just turning into a, a goat roping, as us old schoolers might say, when things go south. Okay. And now it wants to screw on. Okay, this is just not making for good video. Okay, let me move you out of the way a bit and try to figure out what is afoot. I am unintentionally cleaning it off. Horrible, horrible video. I can't even believe. Well, 
I guess it'll be, uh, the proof is it'll be in the pudding, so to speak. If any of you stick around to watch this, if I put it up with as horrible as it's going. Okay. Now, let's try this again with the proper lineup. And there we go. It wants to pretend to work now. So we are not going to give it any grief. Boom. Shock is on. It is screwed down. See, they can be fiddly when you try to cheat. If you just replace the whole gizmo at the same time, put a whole, the whole new shock on, which you can get over there at uh, Bango. But for some reason, as of late, when I've checked, they only will allow you to buy two shocks, which is weird because those shocks come on a vehicle that needs six of them. This one needs eight. So why they only let you buy two? I don't know. So boom, one shock. When I put the other one on, you'll have more, but now we see so much more play. You're not gonna hit this cab. Nice, nice action. So there you go, what I've been telling you guys about, swapping out these springs. Now I've got the outside, I will do the other side, but I will not bore you with any more. So now this way, you can get some springs from Banggood, or any of the other companies probably that sell this truck, you could probably buy the springs. So, two up here, Two in the back of your axle of choice, and this truck will stay level. Going over rough terrain, hauling a load. Thanks. It's Jerry. Like and subscribe. You know, hit the uh, notification bell if you want to see this kind of video as soon as it comes out. Thank you all for coming by and checking it out.